Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today we're gonna to prepare a very simple breakfast dish that is not just delicious, but it's also very economical. The ingredients we're gonna need is five chile guajillos, a small handful of chiles de árbol to add that little kick, two Roma tomatoes, a fourth of an onion, and one to two garlic cloves. I'm only using one because this one is quite large. To get started, we're gonna need one quart of water and we're gonna add the chile guajillo. These, I already removed the seeds and the stems. So we're gonna add in the five chile guajillos, the chiles de árbol, and the two Roma tomatoes. And we're gonna take this to the stove and boil them for about five minutes over medium heat. These have been soaking for about five minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and prepare the sauce. We are gonna transfer the tomatoes. Thought there was another one. Oh, there it is. He's hiding from me. Okay, I'm also gonna add the garlic and half of the onion. And the remainder of the onion, we're just gonna roughly chop it. And we're gonna set it aside. We're done with this. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the water from the pot to blend the ingredients, not too much. Okay, and the only seasoning I'm gonna add is salt. That's pretty much all you need for this recipe. And this is to your liking. Um, about half a teaspoon right there. Now I'm gonna take this to the blender. I left it on there for a good two minutes so I don't have to strain it. It should have a nice smooth consistency like that. Now that the sauce is ready, we're gonna taste it. I think it needs a little bit more salt and it is quite spicy. Has a little bit of a kick. All right, so now on to the second step. I have, I'm expecting company this morning, so I'm gonna make seven eggs. I'm gonna crack them into the bowl. Make sure not to get any, any shell in the bowl. Woo, like that. <laughs> It does happen sometimes, right? And the best way to remove small pieces of shell when you do get some in your bowl is by using the eggshell and scooping it up. That's what works best for me. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. And then we're just gonna scramble. We're gonna start by heating up about two to three tablespoons of your preferred cooking oil. Okay, make sure not to move it right away. You wanna wait for it to fluff up a little bit. And then very slowly, you want to move the edges towards the middle. And then we're gonna wait for that to cook and then we're gonna move it again. And now we're gonna flip it so the top part can cook. Once it's completely cooked, we're going to remove it from the pan and we're going to set it aside. We're going to add a little bit more oil and we're going to add in 
the onion that we set aside. We're gonna saute for a few seconds. And once it starts to lightly um, caramelize, we're gonna add in the sauce from the blender. I added about half a cup of water to the blender just so we can get the remainder of the sauce that was stuck to the side of the glass. And then we're gonna add it in. I'm gonna add a couple leaves of epazote. This is dry epazote. When I find it in the grocery store, I purchase quite a bit. And when I bring it home, so it doesn't go bad, I lay it out on my countertop. And once it's dry, I put it in a jar and use it as needed. I always find it at uh, Cardenas Market, Food City. You can find it at pretty much any grocery store that caters to Mexican food or your local Mexican grocery stores. And then we're just gonna simmer this for about three to four minutes over low medium heat. And, and then we're gonna add the egg back into the pan. I think it needs a little bit more salt. And to add that extra flavor, you can always add a little bit of chicken bouillon instead of salt. Now it has a light thickness, so we're gonna add in the egg. I'm gonna kind of break it down as I add it in. At this point, we're just gonna move it around to ensure that all the egg is soaked into the guajillo sauce. And then we're just gonna turn it off. And then we're just gonna cover it until it's ready to be served. You can serve this with frijolitos, refried beans, or just by itself in a burrito or with a flour tortilla. This recipe is super easy to prepare and it's very delicious. I hope you give it a try.